Our Global Agenda Council is human equality and respect, combating indifference, discrimination, hatred and violence. Why in the midst of a financial crisis is this topic important? Why is it important to focus on human equality and respect? Because one has to imagine the talent pool that is wasted when there is discrimination exercised by societies, by corporations, by every institution. And one also has to imagine, which is what our group did, what the potential is for building talent from previously disadvantaged individuals, disadvantaged groups, previously discriminated against populations. Just imagine what could be possible in solving a financial crisis, an environmental crisis, a crises of poverty as well as crises of economic development if every individual as talented as Barack Hussein Obama could achieve what he has achieved. That was the challenge of our group. And this is what we came up with. We came up with three recommendations. One is education that combats not only ignorance, but combats divisions in society, combats discrimination by being a form of ethical education that's very practical, that really brings youth, children together, teaches them not only about literacy and numeracy, but also teaches them how important collaboration will be to their futures and the future of society. So one is ethical education, as well as truly education for competence. Second, second is imagine councils of inclusion. Imagine that every decision-making body in the world, from local to global, included advisory councils that were representative of previously disadvantaged and discriminated populations. They would show the respect for groups that had previously been excluded and thereby increase their ability to solve world problems. So second is councils of inclusion. The third is ethical leadership. Imagine that leaders were talent scouts for the talented who were previously excluded, not seen as potential leaders. We need, as universities, as well as leaders of other organizations, I being a president of a university, we need to concentrate on teaching leaders who are not only competent, but also courageous in bringing other leaders who would otherwise be ignored to the fore. So, education, inclusion, and leadership are our three challenges for making our ability, whether it is a, our, us as a corporation or as a government or as a private individual who's trying to move the world forward, our ability to anticipate and better solve problems like the financial crisis that we are now witnessing.